Yo, 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 what is going on, COD Familia? It is your boy BN, aka Mr. Kingdom Builder, and today, man, I feel like we just get bombs dropped just out of the woodworks here, fam. So today, we I saw something, and I thought to myself, okay, I need to reread this a couple times, because this, it, it, you know, it's something that I think everyone's been hoping for, and... Now, it almost feels like we pretty much got a soft confirmation on it. So this video is actually going to be talking about migration and something that is and has been a, a big focal point right now for Call of Dragons because of the way that the game is set up with its uh, merging system. Right, Every four kingdoms essentially will get merged together after season one and then we don't obviously know what's going to happen afterwards. Migration is something that even myself uh, and others have spoken about on being instrumental into the game just because of the way that it works, right? I mean, it's just the, the giving people the ability to leave a kingdom that they're in, leave a merged kingdom that they're in, join another kingdom. Just having that accessibility, uh, or, or better yet, that maneuverability, is something that is so huge in kingdom builders for m a multitude of reasons. Uh, in addition to not only wanting to move, right? Maybe you want to go join friends. Maybe you want your friends to come join you. Maybe you don't want to give up on your account's progress because you don't know if migration is going to be a thing or not, right? I I've seen I've seen players that have stopped playing their early beta accounts just so they can remake a new account to play with their friends due to the uncertainty slash unknown of whether or not migration was going to be a thing. So in today's video, and this isn't going to be too long. But in today's video, I'm going to show you where this was soft confirmed, and then we're going to talk a little bit about it afterwards and what some of those implications can, can be. So, of course, if you enjoy the content, make sure you sub, like, ring the notification bell, and if you want to join and be a part of our conversation, hit up the Discord. You can find a link to that in the pinned comment description right down below. So without further ado, right here we go. Let me go ahead, and we're going to show you guys this bad boy. So... You can see here that I had some googly eyes going down. If we read this, this is what we're going to read, right? So this person said, we're going to start here, right? This person said, uh, no, Robert Ross, my man. Can you make a new account on one server, then get to a certain city hall threshold, and migrate to a new server, like in Rise of Kingdoms? Cod CS responds, and this is why I say, dude, COD CS is a bomb dropper, man. Uh, whoever is running COD CS, dude, they're just throwing Hansel and Gretel breadcrumbs out all day, every day. But you just, you have to read. <clears throat> he said, they say, regarding your suggestion, we will record and report it. Here's the kicker. We hope that you can give us some more time. And, and we are striving to complete the function of character migration between different servers as soon as possible. Thank you. Bruh. This is exactly what I'm talking about. Right? We pretty much, just like we've got other confirmations from COD CS, you got to pay attention to the breadcrumbs here. This, this to me is a soft confirmation. That migration is eventually going to be added in. It will be a thing. And now, even though, yes, the hype is real, what does that mean? Right? What does that mean for current players? What does that mean for new players that are coming in? Right? Because I do believe there are some kind of, you know, imp I do believe there's some implications right now during beta, which is when we look at, uh, when, you know, I, I, again, if we kind of go back to the kingdom, when, when you look at coming in, knowing that migration is a thing now, one, some players may not give up on their accounts, or they may go back to their accounts to keep playing or to keep leveling, knowing that migration will eventually be a thing. Of course, no details have uh, been released on how that will work. Will they allow for you to, you know, uh, merge or to play in, uh, and, you know, will they allow for you to, to go from season one to season two? And, and migrate that way where you can basically always migrate to a to a stronger or an older kingdom, but you just can't migrate to a younger one, right? That could be a thing. 
Um, you know, will they put some type of system where maybe you can only, you know, maybe after a certain point you can uh, migrate, like, for example, maybe after the dragon's captured. Usually there's, there's about a 10 to 12 day window between when dragon is captured and or the ending of the final chapter <clears throat> and and then before the next season starts. Will they do, will they consider that? Right? Maybe they open open it up to be a 10 or 12 day window. Maybe they do it similar to Rock and they just say, "Look, as a new kingdom, you have to wait for your kingdom to be at least 10 days old and then you can have other players migrate in." How will that work? Will they cuz this is the thing. Either because there's, there's, and this is probably the second biggest thing you really have to think about. Due to the fact that there are no king tools, right, which they could add those in, right, very similar to how you have in a rock for Lost Temple, they just do it for whoever captures Flame Dragon, right? And then you, you have those types of kingdom support tools. Does that mean that the, they may also add in things like King's Mail? Will they add in things uh, like uh, gifts? Will they add in the ability to give titles, right? Those are obviously the next questions because, you know, this is the thing. Unless you're just going to add in some type of one system, like one specific system within Flame Dragon to say, hey, it's just going to be migration control. Or you just have a flat universal migration system that is not, that's not dependent on the kingdoms being able to manage that. However... Then you kind of get into a tricky situation because now everyone's kind of on this universal playing field of how they have to go. In my opinion, I am of the belief that, you know, if you win a kingdom, right, regardless if you're unified or not unified, having the, having the accountability as a kingdom to make those decisions on who you let in, who you don't let in, you know, those are things I think are really important. And, and the improvements I would love to see COD do compared to what Rock hasn't done yet, which is everyone should be gatekeeped, right? Meaning that if you are king, you should be able to control who comes in uh, and who doesn't, right? Meaning that everyone basically has to apply and then you allow the people to come in that you want. This allows for you to do a few things. It allows for you to vet people appropriately, meaning that when they apply, you can message them so you can have cross-server messaging. That's really important. Or at least, at minimum, being able to message the people that are applying if they're from another kingdom. It allows for you to maybe reach out to them on Discord. Uh, you, can fig you can ask them some questions before they come in. It just reduces the likelihood of anyone and everyone being able to join, which is really how it should be, right? If you think about when people are coming into another country or they're trying to migrate to a, country, uh, a new country that they're going to live in, there's a process they have to go through. Uh, even when you're talking about immigration, you know, just kind of, you know, if or regardless if it's that or even if you're just flying in to go visit another country, there's a process you still have to go through, right? You're st there's still a level of vetting that are, that happens. So it's not as though you can just walk past the border. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like that, you just can't do that. Uh, I mean, respectively. And so to me, this is hopefully going to be an opportunity for, for COD to do something different as they have been from rock and to me the way that i have always felt it should be is that you should one all you should just everyone should have to apply and then whoever is king at the time you're the person who can uh, accept or not accept people that are applying um, and then you can even have like for example maybe you can have uh, officers that are of that alliance are able to view the applicants that are coming in even if they cannot accept or or decline those people, uh, right? Mainly, so you have a, a team or a staff that can essentially vet those players. So it, it's maybe not. It, so it maybe doesn't just fall on the lead, uh, right? That's another way that you can look at it. But to me, this is great. I mean, I think the fact that we're getting, you know, like we've mentioned, some this soft confirmation for migration that's coming in. Th this is a big win. You know, obviously they'll have to figure out if they're going to do some type of imperium system. Um, you know, what type of restrictions are they going to have? You know, when will they allow players to, to join? You know, will there be any cap thresholds? Those are things they'll have to figure out. And I mean, I have some ideas around that. And I don't necessarily know if this might be the video to do a super deep dive on that. I might do it. I might do another one. But I do think that there, as, as for some of the ideas I've mentioned, I think this is hopefully going to be a, a big moment for COD. Because as I mentioned before, 
will they just do the same similar things that Rock does? Or are they going to continue with their trend of innovation to push the boundary and to test new things? That's really what I'm hoping for. So with all of that in mind, that's it for me. I would love to hear your thoughts down below, right? Again, if they if they do decide to truly and fully implement migration, one, what do you think the system should be for how players can join kingdoms? Uh, do you think there should be restrictions? Again, I'm, I'm, I'm not looking for suggestions or ideas on what already exists in Rock, right? I would love to hear first and foremost, because you can always default back to that. That's always your backup. But I would love to hear something innovative that you think could be a, a, a better and or improved system than what currently exists in other games that COD could try out, right? So if you got something, I want to read it because it might be something that I used to talk about in a later video. That is going to be it for me. As always, until next time, fam, I will catch you later.